Hey guys, it's Sydney. So for today's video, I'm gonna tell you about the experience I just had. So I just went to a psychic. So I wanted to apologize that this video is kind of all over the place. It was just kind of me trying to remember what I had just heard and it was a 30 minute session and she just said a lot. So please ignore how all over the place this is and just try to keep up with it the best that you can. Um, my mom has been going to this lady, her name's Elizabeth. She's gone like four times in her lifetime. This lady says some like really accurate, really just crazy things. And so I've been wanting to go for like my whole life and I told my mom when I was 18 I wanted to do it. So for Christmas, she got me um, like a pass to go and see her. And it was pretty cool, I would say. She sees spirits as well. So when I walked in, um, I sat down and everything and she said that she saw my grandmother. My grandmother passed away I think like a year, a little over a year ago. So she said that she was in the room. And then she also mentioned later on that there was a young person that I knew that passed away um, and that I'd find out about it at a reunion, like a high school reunion or something. And also she said that my, I think it must've been my other grandma was in there and she was talking about rosary, rose beads, something, a Catholic bead thing. And I'm pretty sure that my um, other grandma was religious. So that made sense. Um, so she talked about my grandmas and, um, said that they were like in the room with me and then she like did all the cards and stuff. And I'm just going to say like the things that I remember that like stuck with me the most because she said a lot. She kept saying, I kept getting the star card and she kept saying that, um, not that I was a star. I just can't think of the right word. Like she just, she continually said, you're doing fine. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Um, she said she doesn't see me dying young. Um, cause I asked her at the end, she asked if I had any other questions and I said, I was like, I don't know if this is something you can answer, but do you know like when I would die? I don't care how, but just when. And she said, um, that she can't see anything like that. She's like, I can sense though. Um, like if somebody's sick, she's like, you're in good health. You'll be fine. Um, don't worry about that type of thing. She said that I'm my biggest enemy. Um, she talked about relationships and she said, she said, I won't end up with anybody who's in like a building field, like people who build things, hands-on workers. She said that I'm, that they're too simple for me and I'm too, I'm too big, I guess, for them. Um, like I have much higher ambitions than people like that, which is very interesting because my past boyfriend was in construction and we just broke up. So that kind of was interesting. She mentioned, a man named Brian and I have a friend named Brian um, and she talked about him and said that he was good and that we would stay in touch. Okay guys so it's been about a month or so since I went to this appointment and I've been taking forever to edit it but I'm gonna be popping in every once in a while because there's a lot of different realizations that I've made since my appointment that are just insane to me. So right after the appointment ended I went on Snapchat and I messaged my friend Brian and I was like hey so I just went to this psychic and she said we'd stay in touch and basically everything I just said and he told me that apparently he's been trying to text me he didn't have my new number and then we were talking about our majors and we found out that we unplanned like this was not planned at all but we're gonna be in two of the same classes next semester so that was just that was surreal to me because I was like how could she have known that? Like, it was just so random, but I thought that was really cool. She said that there was a lot of boys that like me, and I don't really know if I believe that because, um, no. She said that I'll get through a couple more boys. I think she meant, like, relationships. Um, she's like, but don't worry about them. She said if you notice that they're being, like, not good, I guess, that, um, I should end it <laughs> with them, um, rather than dealing with it which is pretty much my personality. This makes me seem like a total bitch, guys, but I swear I'm not. Um, and she said, for my parents, I need to take their advice. And she said, which I do this all the time, she said, you can take their advice, but you're not gonna like use it the way that they mean it. You're gonna take something out of it. And I do that a lot. She said multiple times, I'm gonna have two kids, probably a boy and a girl. She said she thinks they'll be close in age, which is interesting. By the time I'm 24, I'm going to have somebody in my life that I'm going to end up marrying, which is very interesting. She said I'm going to attract um, lesbians, so that's interesting. Um, because she said my energy, she said I need to keep dancing. I told her I wanted to do entertainment production and we talked about like the fact that I want to move to Tennessee. 
And so she said, she sees me not staying in Florida, which <laughs> I was excited about that. Um, and she said that I'm gonna do a lot of traveling before I actually settle down. Um, she doesn't see me stay, staying in one place for a certain amount of time. She said, if I do end up going to Tennessee after college like I want, um, I'll be there, but I won't stay forever. Um, she said I have connections in a lot of pla in a lot of the places that I'll go. Um, she said I'll probably live in California. She sees New York for me, which I want to do entertainment production, so it kind of all makes sense. She said I need to have somebody in the same field as me so that our energies match, same or similar at least. She just kept saying that I would be fine, that I don't need to worry, I will be fine. She just kept saying, you're doing great, you're doing great. She said that the next two years of my life, or I think the next two years after, so like between the time I'm 20 and 22, I'll really start like building the foundations for my future. She talked about the fact that I have friends that are twins. She said she kept seeing twins and it asked if I knew any like ancestors that were twins. But I have a ridiculous amount of friends who are twins. And she said is one a boy and a girl and two of my closest friends right now are a boy and a girl twin named Joe and Hannah and she said it starts with a J and as I said Joe she said Joe and I was like yep that's him. I realized that this part didn't really make sense so what I was trying to say is she said there's a J like she was seeing a J and at the same time as I was saying Joe she said Joe as well and so that was what was so crazy about it was she just got the name like that like out of the blue she just knew that his name was Joe. So something else that she also said about Joe and Hannah was she said that Hannah was in a loving relationship um, which is true she's been with her boyfriend for a year and a half now so that was pretty crazy. She said I'll be friends with a lot of water signs like Scorpios, um, Cancers, Pisces I believe that was. She also said to she said it like twice to have safe sex because people around me are going to be coming out of college like getting pregnant so that was kind of stressful i was like what okay guys i literally just flipped shit okay let me let me stop for for a second okay guys so as i'm editing this video i'm like losing my mind because i just realized that this part i'm talking about how she said that somebody that people that i knew were going to be having kids and there's this couple from my high school that i did choir with and like i saw them when they were in on like their first date and stuff and they just announced literally like two days ago that they were having um that she was pregnant and i thought that was crazy and i just put two and two together that she's having twins and the lady kept seeing twins like what are the freaking odds of that? Oh my god. If you don't believe this stuff, I don't know how you can't believe it. Like, that's insane, dude. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. Sorry for freaking out. Star quality. That's what it was. Um, When she kept getting the star, she said star quality. There was another one, another card that I got that said that I was still emerging. Like, um, I haven't reached my full potential yet, which is good. I don't want to be at my full t potential yet because I'm not that great. Um, to not stress myself out, don't worry about getting work, don't worry about things like that. Also, I keep looking that way because that's where I was just at. I'm sitting in a parking lot right now, outside of her subdivision. She said I love animals, which was interesting. I do like animals. Um, oh, she said I would attract a lot of friends that are, like, spiritual, I guess? Um, spiritual or, like, organic, like, people who like organic foods and, like, special diets and different things like that and she said that I would become interested in it which is kind of cool because I do want to be vegetarian um possibly one day vegan just because I've been learning so much about the environment lately and just like the effects and I don't know oh my gosh when my mom went to her last time she said she walked in and one of the first things she said was you're wearing something of your mother's it's her ring <sighs> and my mom was wearing her ring when I'm in there she talks to me and she says, your mother wears the ring of her mother. I'm like, yep. And like, I didn't tell her anything. Like she doesn't know that like my mom is my mom. Like she doesn't know any of this. And it was like, some of it was kind of crazy. Like this lady doesn't know that me and my mom are related. She doesn't know us as one family at all. She just knows us separately. All I gave her was my first name when I set up the appointment. So pretty insane. She also said that I would be 
I would stay close with my brother, um, my younger brother. And she said, there's somebody in my life who's depressed, who's sad, um, and is starting to do drugs. And she said, stay away from the losers. That was, that made me laugh. She goes, stay away from the losers. I think that about sums up everything that she told me. I definitely find the spiritual things like harder to believe, but the stuff that she says is just so accurate. It's like, it's crazy. She gave a lot of very interesting things. I didn't really know what to expect going in, but she talked about a lot of things that I had wanted to know. So overall, it was a really good experience. So yeah, I guess that kind of ends this video. Um, hopefully, if I still have my YouTube channel in the future, I'll do a me reacting to this video and maybe I'll find out some of the stuff like happened or is real. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Um, hit that subscribe button down below. All the links to my social media are in the description and I will see you guys next time. I just remembered the other question I had, which is am I gonna become famous? But I forgot to ask.